Hi, Brad Samuels here from Colorcraft Painting. Uh, the purpose of today's video is to teach you the importance and the skills required for really effective inbox and email management. So email and inbox management is something that if you don't get it right and you don't start early with it, um, it can be a really big distractor in your life and it can lead to a lot of disorganization, poor communication, and just things getting left in the left behind overall for customers, all sorts of things like that. Um, I've seen, I have seen countless business people when I look at their inbox that's just cluttered with hundreds of emails that have not been folderized and organized, and then it's a reflection in the way that their whole business is operating, which is just messy. So just like managing your Google Drive, keeping your vehicles clean, keeping all these things decluttered leads to greater efficiency, organization in total, and it's a, it just ends up being a reflection of what's going on in your mind. Clean inbox, clean state of mind, clear understanding of what you need to be doing strategically. Um, so we're gonna go through those basics today. Um, the outcomes that I'd like, to, I'd like everyone to receive from having to go in through this video is a, just a clear understanding of how to folderize everything, how to think about inbox management, and the daisy, daily discipline required in order to keep it nice and clean. So let's just jump right, right into it right now. So um, let's get started by, I'm going to show you just the way I orient my whole, my whole life on a computer here. So I basically don't save anything to my desktop in general. And then I've got everything nicely folderized here with my main things that I go to. So my, Google, my Gmail, my Google Drive, which is basically where I run my whole company from. It's all in the cloud. Um, I have it on any computer that I'm at. Got my Google Calendar, my Google Maps, since we're traveling around the city a lot. Um, and then these is a folder for each of my, this is Colorcraft, my painting company. This is my, uh, my, my other personal development company. I've got my online video courses and then my personal stuff. And everything's just been broken down into folders so and numbered off. And so it kind of gives you a hint of how, uh, an overview of how it's going to end up looking in my Gmail. So today we're just going to do, uh, I'm going to do my end of the day Gmail management. And basically, I want to end up at the end of the day with probably no more than 10 emails. So let's, let's just jump into that, and I'm going to show you how I go about just folderizing everything. Um, so here's all the different things that went on for the day. I'm still a small company, so I'm, not getting, I'm only doing inbox management for about five minutes a day, twice a day. And I'm not doing it more than that, but just doing it that much is able to keep, give me a good overview of the, what's going on in the business. And it just keeps the whole thing organized. So you can see here on the left side, I've got all these different tabs. And they're all basically just important folders that I will organize into as I go. So if it's not important, it will not get folderized, then it'll just get deleted. Um, Otherwise, I can find everything. So, for instance, right here, that's all my e banking e-transfers. I can see when, you know, I can just go into this folder and I can see that all, these are all the e-transfers that went out and to who. And it's really beautifully organized here. If I go into, like, let's go into another one. So, estimate presented. Here's all the estimates that I've presented to people in order of when they happened and out to who, what addresses. Um, so, it's just beautifully organized. And that's basically what I want for you as someone watching the video right now is to is to gather that skill. So let's just go through it. So really I'll start um, usually at the top of the list here um, or you know it doesn't really matter you got to pick for yourself but actually I would encourage you to start at the bottom of the list because um, that's usually the ones that are um, haven't been have need to be dealt with the most. Um, so in this case I have I, I know which one this one this is uh, my insurance which I still need to pay. This is a job I need to follow up with, which I'm going to do tomorrow, so I'm not going to folderize that. This one here is uh, a rec an ad or a um, an applicant who has applied, and I have to call them back and set up an interview with them, or at least set up a conversion call with them. So I'm, I'm going to leave that in my to-do list. So basically, anything that stays on this page here is in the to-do list. Things, and you can even prioritize them by putting stars. Um, but it's, if, it, if it's still in here in my inbox, it means it still has to get done. That's the, the main essence here. So here we have a payment that failed, and that did get paid today, and that was from Greed Lotus, which is our, our marketing agency for Google AdWords. So I'm going to actually, that's dealt with now. They've paid. Um, so I'm going to put that into the folder I want, which is my marketing 
and you can see I've got all these different marketing ones um, so this one's marketing Google AdWords and I can just pick the one if I want to make a new folder I just create a new folder right here um, so as you go and you realize that you need new folders you can just make a new one and just by, by always go into the same place which is move to it's this button right up here so I'm gonna go there move to I know I want that in my marketing so Google AdWords and that's gone it's folderized so if I ever need to find it I know where it is amber so this is this was an applicant that I spoke with today uh, I'm gonna follow up with her and set a time but I'm gonna do that tomorrow it's a, it's after hours right now so my work day is almost done so I will do that tomorrow I'll leave it in there uh, this is my GPS tracking for the vehicles I already dealt with this today so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in vehicles and you can see I have a folder for that my GPS tracking for vehicles we've got a credit claim your credit so let's see what that is I can claim a credit for indeed I guess I don't know where I'm getting that from but very cool so it means I can uh, looks like I can use this credit code um, if I'm doing my next job search so I am actually recruiting right now so I'm gonna leave that in the inbox um, as something I can use throughout the week as I continue recruiting here's a banking e-transfer so some, this was a, a subcontractor who accepted my payment so I'm gonna folderize that as, into my banking oh, sorry. banking e-transfers there it goes indeed leave a review I'm not gonna do that right now so I'm gonna delete it I don't need that payment received so this was a credit card a deposit was taken on uh, from a, a job that was booked today so I'm gonna go and put that into my credit card processing folder there we go indeed so this was a confirmation of an interview um, for recruitment um, this interview was done completed today and actually we hired Christopher so he'll be joining us uh, on the team um, so I'm gonna move that and put that into uh, let's put that into so I can go to recruitment so he's already recruit yeah, recruitment apps to be called indeed scheduled interviews so that was in the scheduled interviews I'm gonna put it in there there is the payment that went through for uh, Google so that's it's good to go so I'm gonna put that in my Google so you can just put it where you want by just start typing it and it'll find the ones you want so there's marketing Google Ads that's where I want to folderize this one Home Depot. Let's try to get rewards, claim rewards. So Home Depot. Um, yeah, we set up an account at Home Depot today. So I might actually make a new folder for this Home Depot. So this is my uh, my account, I, I guess. So I'm actually going to do two things right now. One is since they're a new supplier that I've registered with, um, I'm going to do two things. If you go over here into my side folder, I'm going to add a bookmark for it and put that bookmark under the painting company, under operations, and Home Depot Canada contract store. So I'm going to add this as a bookmark for that. So that now should show up right here under color craft. I go into the painting division, I go into operations. And now I, it's part of the operations, um, buying equipment and stuff. So now Home Depot is one of my suppliers, and it's just in my operations list here. So that's done. Now I can folderize this one again as well and put it under operations. Um, do I actually want to keep this? Yeah, yeah there we go. Put operations equipment. I'm going to put it right there. You know, you kind of have to think intuitively too. Is like when if I was trying to find this, where would I? What would I think? And it's, you know, this is the system you develop in your own mindset. But, you know, Home Depot, they sell me equipment, so operations. So if I want to find something like that, you can always just type it in too, like Home Depot. And you can always find things that way as well. But just for the, sec the secondary stated of just knowing where things are, because sometimes you don't find it doing this, I could go down now and let's go find operations. Down at the bottom here. Here's all these different ones. I got tons of recruitment ones. I've got tons of here's operations. I've got the most is marketing. It looks like 
Um, keep in mind, I'm a new company right now, so there will probably ultimately get to be more folders, and I'll probably end up consolidating and get rid of, getting rid of some of these folders that don't need to... So I got different paint companies here, and there's... If I go to operations here, now I'll find my Home Depot. Okay, so let's close this down, and let's get back to the top here, to back to the inbox. You'll notice when I'm doing this inbox management as well that I don't have any other tabs opened up here because once again this is back to clutter and trying to multitask and you know it just people think they can multitask and it just doesn't work. You're not more effective jumping back and forth because what you encounter is switching costs. So like if I'm sitting here and I'm watching YouTube on this screen and you're not actually going to be more effective or if I'm trying to do some like my, my bookkeeping on this side and I've got inbox management Sometimes it makes sense to do that when you actually need all these different screens, but like when I'm just trying to clean my inbox, I'm better when I unclutter everything. So just keep it done. So what do I got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I got 11 emails in here still. All right. So the credit here. So next one is the mail delivery. Uh, oops. I don't know what this one is. So I'm going to delete that. Riverdale. Nice. So this is a job we have tomorrow. It's Mary, Mary Ann's as a client. Um, so I can go, I'll go to my calendar. But she, nice, we're driving from Surrey, so they're going to meet us. They're driving at 8 till 9. So this is actually in my calendar. We're going to do another, there's a separate video on actually building your calendar and doing block scheduling and priority management, which I'll cover in another video. Um, but yeah, that's this is Mary Ann's. We're going to be power washing Mary Ann's um, at 9.30, it looks like. So that's good. Mary's going to see us in the morning. So I'm going to move this to, I have a folder for client, residential client conversations. Um, notifications. What's this? Oh, this is, so this was an, this was a uh, job that was booked today. So she received her quote. So I'm going to go put this in the estimate presented box. And then what do we got here? Notification. Same thing, this is an estimate that was completed today. So we get sent, my inbox at the moment gets sent a double, a duplication of all estimates that are sent through our quick, quick sumo estimating, quick sumo quote estimating app. Um, so I'm going to put this into the estimate presented folder. Boom. Brandon. And then we got this. This was a credit card processing transaction for 270, so I'm going to just throw that into credit card processing. And then we got Brandon. So this is uh, just an email from uh, one of our suppliers as well. Thanks for sending these great chat catches. Oh, it's your but is it hidden? Anyway, I'm going to leave this. I'll deal with this tomorrow um, when I'm reading through. But basically, I've gotten all the clutter in out of this inbox now. And these are all things that still need to get dealt with. And if I really want, I can prioritize them, but with using stars. Um, so let's just do a quick overview. Uh, well, hold on. Uh, you finish off by saying I now have less than ten emails, and that's where I like it. So for a certain, up to a certain limit. But if you're running under a two hundred thousand dollar business, um, this there's no reason this should really ever be more than ten things that have not been dealt with. Um, that's just a basic rule of thumb for me, but. Overall, the more you can clean this up, the better and the more organized you'll feel when you're not working. Um, you'll feel like there's an end. Um, you know, inbox is one of those things that you can come close to getting to the end of. And one of the few things left of life, especially in entrepreneurship, you always feel like you're going, 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 and there's never an end. Um, let's finish off by just going through some of the folders that I've set up here. So some of the ones that are actually really important. So I've got a banking folder, so all my banking statements from we use RBC. I got my banking e-transfers. This is my QuickBooks, uh, my, all my QuickBook uh, stuff. Those things they send me. This I don't. This shouldn't be here. I should probably get rid of this one and move these all to some other folder. Um, this is my Calendly stuff, my scheduling software, communications. So credit card processing, I send a lot of things into there quite often. Any employee correspondence, um, so I, I might have a duplicate or something extra here, but this is something I could probably clean up. 
Um, like I said, since this is a startup company, I'm still trying to figure out my system. But this is the whole process is, is making a nice system that's nice and clean that you can follow. It doesn't have to be exactly like the one I have going on here, but something that you can manage and you understand it and it helps you declutter your mind. Estimate presented. Um, here's all my invoices from Gmail. Here's uh, all my marketing stuff, which seems to be one of my bigger ones. Um, so anything that has to do with branding, all my apparel and clothing orders and stuff. Marketing email, so it looks like these are just uh, different things that have to do with email marketing. Facebook marketing, so this is probably all my different ads that are running and payments for all those ads, that kind of stuff. Um, Google reviews. We actually got our first Google review today, so I threw it in there. Um, market our tents, the Colorcraft tents. So this is payments for those and setting up the, getting that built. So you can kind of just see the the gist of it. I got marketing stuff, operation stuff, paint stuff, recruitment stuff, and I kind of sub break it down. So recruitment, then each of the different categories of recruitment that I want to be tracking. And anything that doesn't really fit all this stuff, vehicle stuff the, for the Mercedes Sprinter vans. Anything that doesn't fit this, I just, I trash it, right? If it doesn't, if I don't need it and I'll never have to refer to it, I just trash it. So that's basically your spam mail. Anyway, that's just an intro to uh, inbox management. It's a practice, it's an art, and it's very important, and it will make you more productive, and it will make your communication streamlined because you won't be wasting hours sorting through nonsense and forgetting things more importantly, missing things or not replying to customers when you have hundreds of customers or dozens even. Um, if you don't have a good system for this, you'll miss those and they'll come call the call center complaining. So just catch it beforehand. Happy inbox management and uh, good luck.